So orthopedic surgery is very rewarding for a lot of reasons. Firstly, I guess, I see patients that have deformities like, like scoliosis, for example. Um, you can take a child that has a crooked spine, is very self-conscious about it, and in a few hours change their life. It's amazing. It's awesome. Um, I can remember the case of a, a little girl that was about uh, 12. We did a small surgery on. I saw her when she was probably eight. She had cerebral palsy. And one leg was affected, the other leg was fine. And then the one leg that was affected was turned in about 45 degrees. So her, her right foot pointed at her left foot, 45 degrees. She was so self-conscious and so withdrawn about this. And I said, well, just give it a few years. A lot of times these will just crack on their own. We'll just give it time. And I followed her along. And age 12, it didn't crack. And, and so we decided to do surgery. And we did this pretty simple operation where you just literally cut her upper leg bone. Rotated 45 degrees till it was straight ahead, plated it. And then I saw her post op and she was like a different kid. Her feet were facing the same way. She became outgoing, big smile on her face. It was, it was amazing. So that's the kind of thing that just, just draws us in. A lot of what we see is degenerative things. Now, uh, you know, people will come to us just with spinal complaints. It could be horrendous leg pain that's keeping them from being able to work or play golf or do whatever they like to do. Most people that we see we can get by without surgery. Usually it's physical therapy, medications, injections, or just time. Sometimes it's surgery. And then again, it's like these other things, you know, a, a small operation or a brief operation and like a world of change happens. So it's very rewarding. It's, it's, uh, that's what keeps me going, actually.